Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunere Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunere Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. feature we've been dealing with about once a month. And you know, I think one of the most misunderstood procedures uh, that we have about dental work is the root canal. So we're going to get to the root of that right now with uh, Dr. Philip Baston and Elizabeth Abe from Columbia Healthy Smiles. Good to have both of you here. Thanks for having us, Paul. And, yeah. and welcome back from Hawaii. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Abe, your family is there, and you got to visit with them after over a year now over not year. being able to travel. Yes. So we're glad you had a safe visit, and we're back home. Back home, yep. Right. So root canal. This is something when, when people think about having a root canal, it just sends shudders through their body. <laughs> we shouldn't think that way, should we? We don't want people to think that way, no. Uh, root canals, they, they usually sometimes happen when people are in a great deal of pain already, and, and, that, and that's the need for them. And so, uh, you know, the goal a lot of times with the root canal is to get people out of pain. And, and... Okay, what exactly is a root canal? So a root canal is basically disinfecting or getting rid of the bugs, um, if you will, well, inside of the tooth. So um, what is done is oftentimes the nerve becomes affected, and that is what we're trying to heal, and then we seal it back off, um, and then the tooth shouldn't hurt anymore. So when you go in and do a root canal, are you removing the actual nerve that's there? Within the tooth, yes. You're, you're taking the nerve out that's yes. in the tooth. So then you're taking out the ability for the tooth to feel pain. Correct. A lot of times that nerve has been damaged in an irreversible manner. And so removing the nerve from the tooth is the way that you remove the pain. And then uh, then you go in and make sure everything is clean and, and, and sterile as can be inside the, inside the tooth. Um, so... By having a root canal, then you're actually saving the tooth. Correct. Yep. So what 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 happens to the tooth after the the uh, the nerve is taken out? Does it still remain as viable as it was before? Yeah, lots of people have root canal treated teeth, and and for decades after after a root canal uh, takes place, and what uh, like Dr. Abe said, what happens is they we put a, a filling material is put down in the area of the tooth or in the roots where the nerve was to seal things off, and uh, and then usually on the top of the tooth a crown gets placed uh, to protect the tooth structure that's above the gum tissue. Yeah, now that's what I had done with your father many years ago. And I remember when he told me, Paul, uh, you're going to need two root canals. <laughs> I started shaking. He said, don't, don't worry about it. It's not going to be all that bad. But it wasn't bad at all. Good. It wasn't bad at all. In fact, I was amazed. I had the one root canal and then he said, uh, I thought we were going to do it on two different days. And originally we were. Did the one tooth with the root canal. And he goes, okay, we're done with one. Do you want to just go ahead and do the other one now? I said, you're done? He goes, yeah. So they did the other one. I had two of them done in one day, and I had, honestly, no pain. No pain. Of course, they deaden it. Yes. Uh, but then when the, when the uh, what is it, the, what wears off? The uh, anesthetic. The yeah. anesthetic wore off. It wasn't painful at all. Now, I guess everybody mm -hmm. reacts a little bit differently. But just to put you at ease, if you are told that you have a root canal, it's not what you may have been envisioning in your head is being so dreaded. Correct. Mm -hmm. Then, once you have had this root canal, if there is a cavity, if a cavity mm -hmm. forms in that tooth, are you going to? You're not going to feel any pain. How would you know then that you actually have a problem with the tooth if the nerve has been taken out? 
So that is where coming in for your regular checkups right. um, becomes vital because um, we can sometimes detect that on an x-ray or just clinically. Um, but yes, you're correct. It is something you wouldn't be able to feel because, you know, you, there is no nerve there anymore. Right. So you still, if you don't take care of your teeth, you still could get a cavity yes. where you had that root canal. And then the, the thing is there, since you have no nerve, you're not going to feel it. So it's important that you go to the dentist for your regular six-month checkup and and they verify this. But the thing is, if you're going for your regular six-month checkups and you're brushing and flossing regularly, chances are you're not going to have a cavity. Hopefully not. Yeah, that's that's the goal with the preventive care is to you know stay ahead of things. Uh, Unfortunately, sometimes, uh, you know, if even if a cavity doesn't cause the pain in the tooth, as it would cause a root canal, sometimes, you know, people can crack teeth, you know, if they bite, you know, so they, sometimes if a tooth cracks or fractures, that can cause pain in the tooth, and that can also then necessitate a, a root canal being done, too. Oh, if you crack your tooth? Sometimes. You may have to have a root canal? May have, yep, if a crack affects the nerve. Now, if you have a root canal, do you always have to have a crown or a cap or... Can you have a root canal and just have a regular filling and not have to put a cap on it? Usually if it's a, what we call a posterior tooth, so one of the back teeth, those we uh, almost always recommend a crown for our following a root canal. Um, a front tooth, they uh, don't always need a crown after a root canal. It can just be a filling uh, for the tooth. But the reason crowns are recommended are because the nerve of the tooth supplies the blood and the nutrients and that vitality to the, to the tooth. So when you remove the nerve of the tooth, there's not that constant blood supply and, vi and food source being supplied to the tooth for its vitality. So the tooth over time could potentially become more brittle and prone to fracture and the crown protects that and it extends the life of the tooth then after the root canal is completed. Okay. Ah, that's a good explanation. I didn't realize that. So when you take the nerve out then, the tooth is not getting the nourishment that it would, that, that the teeth have that have mm -hmm. the nerve in it. Yep. So the crown is just like you're putting a pair of gloves on your hands to protect the skin on your hand. Yep. You're putting the crown on to protect what is left of that tooth. Correct, yeah. Okay. Uh, we're just about out of time, but what's the best thing we can do to make sure that we don't have to have, have a root canal? Uh, regular care, preventive care, you know, uh, regular and, and home care is very important. Brushing, flossing, uh, senior dentist regularly, of course, and then... You know, if you are one of those people who likes hard, crunchy things, just be careful if you uh, chewing on things that are too hard or crunchy, especially if you have a, um, maybe some more restorations in your mouth from previous dental work. Okay. Uh, just all things to take into account. All right. If you've got any questions or you have any problem, you can give them a call at Columbia Healthy Smile. And your phone number is? 875-7071. Uh, okay. Our, uh, you have Facebook, Kate? Okay? We have Facebook. We have an Instagram account, too. And we are, our website is www.columbiahealthysmiles.com. Okay. 875-7071. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Thank Dr. You. Philip Batson and Dr. Elizabeth Abe. It's a pleasure to have both of you here. And keep those healthy smiles. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.